Hey there, my name is Chaos and thank you for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. Today's video will be about fixing the Sega Game Gear. Sega Game Gear. Yeah, that was a Sega Genesis portable. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, this unit has a lot of problems. The screen isn't working, the sound is partly working, it's not stereo, and the power connection isn't working. So we'll be addressing these problems in this video and hopefully we can fix them. So let's go. So as you can see the screen does turn on and the backlight works, but the screen kind of bleeds out to white and then shows nothing. And for this mod we're using a capacitor replacement kit for the Game Gear, which is totally awesome because somebody already put the effort in finding out which capacitor replaces which one in the Game Gear. And the only difficulty we had opening up the Game Gear was trying to remove this darn security screw. But after using some needle pliers we finally got it out. Oh man. And after opening her up and disconnecting these wires, we could continue removing the back shielding of the backlight. Then we need to remove the screws which keep the mainboard in place. And then we can take it out. And then starts the tedious task of removing the old capacitors. 10 in our case. And after removing all of them, the mainboard looks like this. Luckily the capacitor replacement kit comes with a clear manual so we know exactly which new capacitor we need to place where. And so after a decent time of soldering, the end result looks like this. This is ready to work for another 30 years or so. Now let's check if the screen works. Oh yes, it does. To repair the sound and power board, I ended up ordering uh, a replacement power and sound board online, which already had the capacitors replaced on them. So to fix the soundboard, I simply had to remove the screws and take out the old soundboard, remove the screws from the power board and remove that from the unit. And finally putting the replacement soundboard in. And finally putting the replacement power board back in. The final step to put everything back together is to connect the wires. and screwing the unit back together. 
So as you can see, we managed to fix all three problems. The screen now works because we replaced all the capacitors on the main board. The sound is now finally in stereo because we replaced this soundboard, which was already recapped. Awesome. And it now can take power from an external power source because we replaced this power board. Um, let me show you real quick. I removed the batteries. Uh, let me plug in a power source and turn it on. It works. Now let me turn up the volume. Awesome! Fully working Game Gear and I'm so thrilled. It works and I'm really happy. I don't have any games for it, so if you have suggestions for great games, please let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please let me know as well. And for now, I thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.